Hey, what's going on? I'm Frankie Lee, and welcome to the first episode of Frankie Lee Reviews. Today I'm here to review a very, very popular new indie game called Undertale. Undertale is a game that started out on Kickstarter, and quite surprisingly, on a rare occurrence being a Kickstarter game at all, it actually managed to come out. So I went into this game expecting another quirky, clever, earthbound game that wants to be earthbound, but ended up with something a lot more wholesome, a lot better than I expected. Undertale is a game where you control a, um, a child, and you go through an underground civilization of monsters. Some will try to hurt you, some will try to kill you, some just won't give a damn. But that's one thing. Every character and NPC you meet is gushing and just filled with unique character. Even the villains. I mean, hell, even the villains can turn out to be your friend if you try hard enough. Now, I want to say this game is an RPG, but that doesn't quite cut it. When you run into a random encounter, the game is more like a rhythm game or a shmup, depending on which route you take. Now that's another thing I need to talk about. In this game, there are two ways to play. You can fight or act. Fighting will be treated like a regular RPG with time hits, timed hits, <laughs> and EXP and leveling up. I'm not going back and getting in there. Acting will result in sparing the enemy and not gaining any EXP, thus being level 1 the whole game. This game feels like the one true time I played a game where every choice matters. I will tell you, this game's not very long though. It's like 6 to 10 hours. I know that's not long, but its $10 price tag will be well worth it for the overall fun and... You gonna make me say it? And the feels you get throughout. The feels... Not to mention, this game panders to the LGBT community as well. They don't try and shove it down your throat or whatever, so everyone's happy. Now, I'm not telling you to go buy this game because some people think 6 to 10 hours isn't enough for a $10 price tag, but I'm just telling you, give it a chance. Like, go grab a demo off the game's website or, like, Steam or something. Pirate it. I don't give a fuck. Don't play it for all I can. Undertale's quite possibly one of the few games I played this year that I didn't hate or drop after two hours of playing. Everyone's throwing 10s at it. 10s here, 10s there. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. But I gotta say... I've really enjoyed it, and this is one of the few times I can give a game a perfect 10 as well. It's got rockin' tunes, great aesthetic, cute, charming characters, and an awesome finale. I'm not spoiling it. So, for my first Frankie Lee review, I give Undertale a 10 out of 10. <laughs> See you all next time. Peace out! Wow, Undertale actually managed to be the number one PC game on Metacritic. Oh, man! You know, I wanted to review on these. These keep me going.